<clears throat> Hello. Okay, um, I wanted to do this um, video while I had it in my head before I forget. Um, I mean, I'll probably remember again, but, like, I'm also doing videos right now, and, like, I don't do videos every day, so, like, I figured I'll just at least do one video now, and if I decide to do more later, then I will. But it's Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. And, um, I just wanted to just r quickly run down the top, well, s some of the top ten uh, African-American inventors um, in American history. And, um, so here we go. Elijah McCoy. Uh, born 1880, sorry, 1843 to 1929. He invented an oil dripping cup for trains. Um, other inventors tried to copy McCoy's uh, oil dripping cup, but none of the other cups worked as well as his. So customers started asking for the real McCoy. That's where the expression "the real McCoy" actually comes from. You should check that out. All right. Um, Next up is Louis Latimer, um, born 1848 to 1928. He invented an important part of the light bulb, the carbon filament. Without that, the light bulb wouldn't work. So you could also, you could, you know, if simply say he kind of created the light bulb, basically, because he created the part that makes it work. So uh, Latimer worked in the laboratories of both Thomas Edison and Alexander Graham Bell. Third, number three, Jan Ernst Metzeliger. Uh, born 1852 to 1889. He invented a shoemaking machine that increased shoemaking speed by 900%. Uh, in 1992, the U.S. Uh, made a postage stamp in honor of Matt Zelliger. Alrighty, number four. Uh, inventor, black inventor number four. Granville T. Woods, born 1856 to 1910. He invented a train to station communication system. Um, Woods left school at age 10 to work and support his family. Wow. And uh, so, yeah, that's train to station communication systems kind of important. We use that every day. Um, all right, number five, George Washington Carver. A lot of us have heard of him. Uh, he was born 1860, died 1943. He developed peanut butter and 400 plant products. And uh, Carver was born a slave, and he didn't go to college until he was 30. So, I guess you don't have to uh, go to college to be, you know, uh, successful. It, you know, it used to help, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um, number one, two, I'm sorry. Number one, two, three, four, five, six. Number six, Madam C.J. Walker. All of us women have heard of her. Um, born 1867 to 1919. I'm sorry, 1919. And she invented a hair growing lotion. Uh, and... Uh, she actually grew up poor, but she became the first female African-American millionaire. Pre-Oprah. Oh my gosh. All right. Then number seven is Garrett Morgan. He was born 19, 1877, died 1963. He invented the gas mask. So we invented the gas mask. Yeah. Morgan also invented the first traffic signal. So we invented the traffic. Black, black inventors invented... Uh, the first gas mask and the first traffic light, traffic signal, or whatever. Um, Otis Boykin, that's number eight, right? Yes, we're number eight. Born 1920, died 1982, invented the electronic uh, control devices, electronic control devices uh, for guided missiles, IBM computers, and the pacemaker. Uh, Boykin invented 28 different electronic devices. That's a big deal. And then, um, there's number nine, Dr. Patricia E. Bath. She's still alive today, born in 1949. She invented a method of eye surgery that has helped many blind people see. Dr. Bath has been nominated to the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Yay, hope she wins. That uh, gets in there. And, uh, here's a fun one. Number ten, Lonnie G. Johnson, 1949. He was born, he's still alive today. He invented the world-famous water gun, the Super Soaker. So, yeah, we invent fun stuff, too. Johnson's company just came out with a new Nerf ball toy gun as well. And, um... Uh, looking for, I mean, I, what I forgot, we invented the computer chip as well. Let me get the guy's name who invented them. Computer chip inventor. Let's see here. If I can find it. I know this is a long video again. So Dr. Dr. Mark Dean, is that him? Let's see. As a child. Uh, 
I think it's Dr. Mark Dean. I think it's him who invented the the uh, computer chip we use today. Let me just, I'll just read what it says. Cause, uh, um, as a child, Mark Dean excelled in math. In elementary school, he took advanced level math courses. And in high school, Dean even built his own computer, radio, and amplifier. Dean continued his interests and went on to obtain a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from the University of Tennessee, a master's degree in electrical engineering from Florida Atlantic University, and a PhD in electrical engineering from Stanford. He is one of the most prominent black inventors in the field of computers. Dr. Mark Dean started working at IBM in 1980 and was instrumental in the invention of the personal computer, PC. He holds three of IBM's original nine PC patents and currently holds more than 20 total patents. The famous African-American inventor never thought the work he was doing would end up being so useful to the world, but he has helped IBM make instrumental changes in areas ranging from the research and application of systems technology, circuits to operating environments. One of his most recent computer inventions occurred while leading the team that produced the 1 gigahertz chip, which contains 1 million transis transistors, transistors and has nearly limitless potential. So he is, uh, I guess, responsible for the one gigahertz, the first one gigahertz computer chip. That's Dr. Mark Dean. So there's a lot more than that, though. There's like hundreds and hundreds of awesome and amazing black inventors. So I guess I'll do a series on this, and this will be the first one if I have the attention span and focus for that. And um, this is the first one, and hopefully not the last. So <laughs> happy Black History Month. All right, thanks. <laughs>